Na mahkama kuu imempata na atia Joseph Virungu kwa jina maarufu Joey kwa mauaji ya Monica Kimani mwaka 2018. Jaji Brez Zioka alisema upande wa mashtaka ulidhibitisha kesi dhidi ya mshtakiwa. Joey sasa ameweka rumande ya tarehe nane mwezi Machi mwaka huu wakati mahkama itatoa uamuzi kuhusu hukumu dhidi yake. Wakati huo huo mshtakiwa mwenza ambaye zamani alikuwa na habari Jackie Maribe aliondolewa mashtaka kwa sababu ya ukosefu ushahidi wa kumuhusisha na mauaji hayo. Akitoa uamuzi wake wa kurasa 117 kwa mutasari, jaji wa mahakama kuu Grace Nzioka alichanganua mawasilisho ya upande wa mashtaka na upande wa utetezi. The prosecution called a total of 35 witnesses. Whereas each accused person offered their defense, the first accused person offering her defense, sorry, the first accused person offering his defense through a sworn statement, and the second accused person opting to defend herself through an unsworn statement. Judge Nzioka, alisema mahakama imedhibitishiwa kuwa Joseph Irungu, a.k.a. Joey, alimuwa Monica Kimani Kimaksudi. It is the finding of this court that the deceased did not die of an accidental or natural cause. The death was not accidental, it was not an unnatural death. Therefore, this is a clear case of homicide that falls outside the excusable homicides. Katika kujitetea, Joey alidai kuwa alikuwa kwenye nyumba ya kimani kwa mura wa dakika kumi pekee, Akisema muda huo ni mfupi zaidi kumwezesha mtu kuua lakini mahakama ilibainisha kuwa dai hilo ni la uongo. This court visited the scene. This court had the benefit of seeing and monitoring and appreciating the distance from road house to where the deceased was stay. Less than 15 minutes walk. And so if really indeed this first accused person left Jennings at 8:30 he would not have taken more than 15 minutes to be in the deceased house. And that corroborates the evidence of Jennings. By 9 o'clock, he was in the deceased house. And so my conclusion is the argument about 10 minutes, not tenable. Kwenye wamuzi wake, Judge Nzioka Aida, alikosua mienendo ya Joey Badi ya mawaji hayo. Corroborated by the evidence of no other person than the first accused person himself is that by 19th of September 2018, the first accused person was in possession of a gun. Mawasilishi wa upande wa utetezi kuwa Joey haku mfahamu muenda zake kabla ya mawaji yake kuripotiwa, pia yalithibitishwa kuwa ya uongo kupitia uchanganuzi wa mawasiliano ya simu kati ya Joey na muenda zake, na kakae Monica mbae alisema dada yake alisoma na Joey katika chuo kimoja cha hapa nchini. Aliekuwa mwana habari Jackie Maribe, ameondolewa mashtaka kwa misingi kuwa hakuna ushahidi ulionyesha alikuwa katika eneo la mauaji licha ya kutoa maelezo ya kutatanisha kuhusu kisa cha kujipiga risasi kwa Joey. Maribe aliwakilishwa kwenye kesi hiyo na katua Kigen huku Joey akiwakilishwa na Profesa Hassan Nandwa. Tilio Marco nikiripotia darubini.